everybody, Doug, John, Mike, Big Kid Power Sports. We get a ton of questions about running, what oil to run in a two-stroke, snowmobile, dirt bike, whatever other machine, I guess, any two-stroke machine. So there's guys, I guess, first of all, this is going to be like talking about religion or politics and well, really any kind of power sports to begin with. There's Articac guys, there's Polaris guys, you get it. If, you, if your great-grandpa used AMS oil, chances are you use AMS oil also. So it's not really about switching you to a different oil. It's more, the questions I think that we get is for guys who haven't married an oil yet. Or they've married one, but... Oh, John was running. I was behind John the other day when he was running that cloth. Oh, God, give me some of that smell. Well, And right. they want to switch. But can I switch? I'm too scared. Yes. That would be another point where this question would come up. Or, or like the old wives' tales of that you, if you have cast or a bean oil in your sled, you can't add synthetic to it or vice versa because it'll turn to gel. Or right. right. Or you're up north and, oh, well, they don't have it. Yep. Yeah, no. They don't have OEM oil You're at the gas station. Dominator. You're right. So all these are real scenarios. So really what it comes down to, I guess what everyone can kind of agree on, is you kind of pick an oil. You know, you kind of want to marry an oil at some point. Yeah, I mean, I think... It doesn't really matter what the I think guy. the idea of it is, is you, you pick an oil and you, you marry it because if you change it every time... You fill up the tank, at some point you're going to have a concoction of four or five different oils in there. At the end of the day, is it going to be necessarily a bad thing? Probably right. not. But is it what the oil company designed when they did their tests? Well, definitely not. Right, no, they didn't mean for you to run yes oil with a little bit of... Yeah, a little bit of a splash of caster. Right. Oils. I mean, at the end oils of the day, it's oil, all... Really. What is it? It's all... Caster is vegetable based, and then there's synthetic, full synthetic, like am, like dams oil. So regardless of what you do, it, it all goes through tests, and it all has what is that TC uh, here? It reads the requirements of API, TC, TCW, TCW3, JSOFD, ISO, blah blah blah. Okay, so your so point, they have. My point is, there's a baseline that all these oils they'd be out of business if they didn't meet these requirements. More, it wouldn't work. I guess I haven't ever really had someone convince me that I used to run Amsoil and we were on a trip or whatever. I put a, I filled my tank with cloths and my motor blew. I've never seen. I've heard someone, that. And someone may well, say that. Heard a lot. Yeah. Well, they may say that, but does that mean that, yes. that it in my head it would mean that tank? The motor blew. Was it three tanks later? Well, anything could happen. In right. Three the tanks. old, yeah, Klotz is named Klotz because it clots right. up in your. Uh, they wouldn't <laughs> be in business if that was the case. Yeah, I would agree with that. And then there's people who say, "Well, my owner's manual says I have to run Yamaha or I have to run Artica." Well, of course it does. They they want you to buy their product, but but we've got guys who run right. Yamalu and everything. Right. Right. No, I mean it doesn't make sense. Okay, so if you've got a Yamaha and your son's got an Articat, which most sons have Articats. I don't know. Articat guys. I don't like Articat. Alright, well, <laughs> rather than having a shelf full of six different oils because I have a Yamaha snowmobile and I've got a, my son's got an Articat Snow Pro and then right, I mean, that point, uh, Amzil awesome. doesn't make a snowmobile, so I mean, right. I gotta, I gotta run Amazon. No, I guess well, the somewhere. point was you could run Yamaha Lube and yeah, all of it. I think got guys, on you, you know. Got guys who run Yamaha Lube in their chainsaw because it's there. Have you guys had the. I don't know if they still make it. They make one Artica oil that had a pine tree scent in it. Do you remember that one? It smells I know like, they make stuff for. It literally gasoline. smells like you're driving through yeah, the, the forest. The additive? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have one that smelled like cotton candy. Yeah. That was, <laughs> run on like a circus or That was a fun one. So I guess, really, all oils do the same thing. Once they meet that criteria of being a two-stroke oil. Well, they do it, but they do it differently. Do it differently? Because like, like castor oil, it's gummy. 
basically. It, right. It creates... The cheapy stuff. No, I'm talking clots, all of it. Okay. I mean, clots probably does some sort of process to reduce that, but what it comes down to is if you're running any kind of bean oil, more cleaning is going to happen. Like, you're going to have to take your engine apart occasionally and clean it out. Well, and, and ray valves and stuff like that, right. vest valves too, you're going to be servicing them more often. Right. And that's why, I mean, I would agree. I would, if you're running a, a 500 fan motor, I don't think you need to be running a full synthetic detergent and all this oil. You don't have to, but it adds it's not to gonna hurt anything. It's not going to help. It's not going to hurt. But, but if you're right. running, a, if you've got a motor with power valves, ray valves, or whatever, at that point, you're going to want to run something with a detergent. You take out those valves after a couple thousand miles, they're going to be significantly dirtier. Than it, it, I've seen people that run a specific type of oil that has more ash in it, and they wonder why their Polaris is backfiring with its, you know, with its power valve system, and pull a valve, and oh, what do you know? It, it like, looks like caramel. Yeah. Right. 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 So we reached out to you guys. I'll read a few little uh, comments. And this is one of those things where you ask a hundred people, yep. you will probably get a hundred different answers, but yeah, maybe ninety different answers. Would you guys run your sled? Amzo keeps the valves clean, and I like the smell of it. There you go. Uh, That's a big one for clocks. Todd Lordheim. We got Mike Carperelli says he runs the Lamy Yamalube. Yamalube. It is a semi-synthetic blend. The motor runs better, and that's what the manufacturer recommends. That's why. Right, and it's one of those things where if you run Yamalu or Amsoil and you ran clots forever, you never had a problem with it. Right? Stick with it. Yeah, there's no real reason that I'm. I guess at the end of the, the day, last. I think the whole point of this thing is there's really no right or wrong answer here. Right. In my personal opinion, again, I wouldn't run a cast oil on a sled with, but it's just my personal preference. Is it going to damage it? Right. No, I think the things that are going to, the, the horror stories that people refer to can really be more dumbed back to something mechanical happening with the sled. An oil line pops off, oil pump stops. You paint it across Lake Okibik for yeah, 42 miles. Right. You lean the thing out in the first place. I don't think you can take that information, back it up to, well, yeah, Clark did that because he was running clots. Right, and Clark put it in the gas at the last gas station. He put it in before he crossed Lake Okibik. He added clots that had it in the oil. No, no. So, I think you should still pick an oil, a common oil. Yeah, when you're picking oil, think about where you ride. You ride up in the UP. Do you ride in an area where they're going to have this or they're going to have that? You know, most gas stations do carry. Uh, AMS oil, um, it's common. Most gas stations don't carry the OEM stuff. Some do, but not as common. So that or you're bringing it with you. There you go. So it's not really a right, wrong answer of what oil to use in your slide. Just kind of more base it off of, I guess, where you're headed, where you're riding, and what, what type of motor and machine that you have. Go from there. If you guys got any other questions about oil or another topic or something, give us a call, 815-363-1254. Also feel free, I still want to hear from you on what oil you use and why. So here's the oils that we carry, and pretty much we and carry we realize this is need. not a right or wrong discussion. No. This is, like you said, this is, this is politics. There you go.